Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to take a look at this full moon energy coming up on July 23rd. Okay. And really, what I'm going to ask today is how is this moon going to shed our subconscious to light? What things... is our subconscious trying to bring to light so i want to thank the source of all things the most high god for letting me be here today right for all the all the gifts known and unknown seen and unseen from the biggest to the smallest i'm so grateful for all the views and for everything i'm gonna take that one too and for everything that you do to sustain me my viewers thank you for protecting me thank you for protecting my viewers and everybody within the sound of my voice I invite my angels, ancestors, and spirit guides to let me know what messages need to go out, which messages need to be received. And tell my wonderful viewers what they need to hear. Oh. Okay. Hey. Oh, there's a lot going on in that subconscious, right? I'm going to pull some more, but I'm just going to stop for right here for right now. So currently, your present position, right? Is the Knight of Wands. Which speaks about dynamic male energy. So... Um, just because it says dynamic male energy, it doesn't mean it's necessarily a man, okay? However, that is the balance to the full moon energy, right? So your subconscious is really saying that it needs balance, which is kind of general. So let's go. What's the immediate influence? What's influencing your decisions right now, which is important because we don't really look into that usually. The three of coins, learning new skills, developing new abilities, right? So, the new things you are learning are starting to balance out your life. Or the new things that you will apply yourself to will help balance out the new things in your life, right? Male, female, male, female. I think a lot... This full moon is going to be a lot about balancing the scales i hear like balancing karma or just balancing uh just 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 a sense of balance and correcting issues and stuff like that and we got the hierophant at the bottom of the deck right now so let's see now what is the goal or the destiny that your subconscious is wants to highlight for you okay so we have the king of swords You've won the war, now you must win peace. You, again, again, bal look, balance and karma. You won the war. Okay. <sighs> Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what is the distance past foundation that's affecting the way you think. It's not letting you move forward. It's not letting you balance yourself. Ooh, seven of swords. Let's see the seven of swords making an important but worthwhile sacrifices mm, you're not really taking the risk that you don't you need to take within yourself you're not you're not giving yourself that that confidence you have a lack of concept confidence 
okay from this is like childhood stuff i'm seeing like getting made fun of or i mean and everybody gets made fun of i think you, some people just need to let go of it and realize like it it, it was mean it was mean some some of you might even get apologies from your bullies and it might stem something like <laughs> it might they might reach out on social media and apologize and stuff that this last moon had us pretty emotional and now we're going into a pretty fiery moon that's kind of trying to balance everything out here for the benefit of humanity okay so now what is so what what are the recent past events that are like leading up to this right that your subconscious is trying to give you information like hey pay attention over here it's mr page of swords <laughs> learning and traveling look right there under the learning a new skill bro and then to the balance bro like <laughs> i swear <sighs> let's just move on so and the future what is the future influence of this going to be like once you step out of this of your suit su once you step out of your subconscious and bring this to the light let's see what's going on here man i didn't i almost didn't do this reading guys and look and look let's see if I, uh this the sixth card the future influence is the five of cups mm hmm <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Five of Cups disillusionment if you rely on the commitment of others. Mm. So you're ignoring yourself. Okay? Don't ignore yourself. Feel the feelings that you feel. If you need to apologize, apologize to somebody. Or if you feel like you deserved an apology, don't be afraid to speak up. Somebody who cares about you is going to want to talk to you and going to want to know how they can rectify the situation okay hmm hmm okay so now this is your present position and attitude Woo! within the circumstances my bad so let's see here what we got it ain't paradise put up a parking lot Ooh. Oh, the love of the magicians. Oh, thought it was the lovers. <laughs> oh, oh. Let, whew, you're out here doing magic, hmm? And you're trying to manipulate to get your way. And that's not how things work. And that's why you're being balanced right now. Because you have this idea in your subconscious that... Uh, you can manipulate everybody and that's just not how things work that's i call that the pip hole mentality we're not gonna have the pimp hole mentality anymore okay let's see here let me just get into more what the magician means for a second ah, i can't find it goodness the world the judgment the sun the moon the star the tower the devil, the temperance, mm. justice, wheel of fortune, the hermit. This is intense. This is insane. Strength. Oh, I knew it was the second one. I don't know how my eyes didn't see it before. Okay. Putting across a message to a much wider audience and reasoning. So, yeah. You're going to have to communicate with other people, okay? You can't manipulate them. You have to do it in a way that's beneficial for everybody. You got to harmonize, not manipulate, right? So, number eight, environmental factors. What are what are the things around you that are affecting you in your everyday life so let's see are you drinking not drinking enough water are you not eating right i mean those are the obvious things but let's get a little bit deeper into it Ooh, page of cups look you got two pages in a row page of cups here new social contacts what did i say you're gonna meet new people but you can't do the same thing you did to them to the other people from before because they feel all hurt and manipulated and now you're trying to go around fix everything but it's not gonna fix everything but the full moon is gonna give you is gonna lend the power for you to be okay for you to be able 
um, to do this successfully and harmoniously for you okay now I know you're scared and you have some inner emotions let's see what's going on here with the eight of swords and that's interesting because his eyes are like blacked out I don't know if you guys could see it from there but if you look closer you see his eyes are like blacked out there oh that's the subconscious I don't want to see it I don't want to see it I don't want to see it but you're gonna have to see it you're gonna have to face it or you're gonna go back into this cycle of the stuff that you don't like hold on there's a helicopter going by frustration eight of swords frustration the need for patience can't see a way out of a problem and i keep hearing i know you see it i know you see it wow i've been singing that all week actually so yeah the, the problem yeah you, those full moon's gonna shed light on this problem look full moon right there and the sun right there there's balance again full moon right there balance where else is there any more nope but you got the infinite sign on this magician up here so this is the cycle from the cycle from the cycles from the cycle from the land before time okay the old old dragon saying the old old things that's old 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 hold up in your mind okay so let's see last card the final results it shows the culmination of the results which will be brought about from all the influences as revealed by the other cards in the divination provided events and influence continue as indicated okay so Ooh, this is going to be a lucky special card. I can feel it already. Let's see here. Let it fall out. What is the overall meaning and result and the outcome going to be? When we communicate the things that this full moon exposes in our subconscious, the six of coins... Dang. That energy though. Jesus. You need to back it up. Back, back, back it up. Wanting to be generous, but the need to be more discriminating. Okay? So you got to be careful with who you allow into this new phase of your life. Yes, communicate with some people. Communicate with some people on the people that you know you need to apologize to the people you feel that connection with there's some people that maybe you should stay away from okay you don't want to put yourself through the same thing again or you don't want to continue to hurt people the same way you've been hurting people right it's all about growth all right learning about how to live in harmony with those around you okay that's what the six of look this that's what the six of cups says so like I said, we got to learn how to live in harmony with those around us. Okay, look, and there's the dolphins down there, and it's like the dragons coming to a new settlement and whatnot. I hope this helps somebody. I know it's going to help somebody. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know if it resonates with you in the comments below. And I love you guys. I can't wait to hear about all the miracles transpiring in your life.